Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question What are the different types of mobile apps? What's the difference between native versus web versus hybrid apps? Let's begin. Mobile applications may be classified by numerous methods, but the most popular classification is to distinguish native, web-based, and hybrid apps, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Let's get familiar with them one by one. And we start with a native app. Native apps are built specifically for a particular platform or operating system, such as Android or iOS, and are installed directly on the device. In addition to this, native apps are developed using programming languages and tools provided by the platform's SDK, Software Development Kit, and can access device features like cameras, GPS, and sensors. Native apps are generally faster and more responsive than other types of apps, and they can provide a high-quality user experience. However, they require separate development for each platform, which can be time-consuming and costly. The definition is simple and clear, but to broaden our horizons, let's look at a few characteristics of native apps and their pros and cons. Let's start with the pros, but we'll just read the list out loud. You can pause the video if you want to read it on your own. So the pros of the native apps are Native apps are optimized for a specific platform or device, which makes them run faster and smoother. Native apps can access a wide range of device features such as cameras, GPS, contacts, and sensors. Native apps are designed with specific platform design guidelines in mind. Users will be familiar with the interface and navigation, making using the app easier. Native apps are less vulnerable to security risks and data breaches, as they can use platform-specific security features such as biometric authentication, encryption, and sandboxing. Native apps can be distributed through app stores such as Apple App Store or Google Play Store, which provides greater visibility and accessibility to users. These are the main advantages of native app development. Let's now check the disadvantages of native apps. The main disadvantages of the native apps are high development costs and longer development time. Since native apps require separate development for each platform, the development costs can be higher compared to web apps or hybrid apps. They cannot be used on other platforms without significant development effort. And the same is related to maintenance. Native apps require regular updates and maintenance to stay compatible with the latest platform updates. Also, the native apps need to go through the App Store approval process, which can be time-consuming. Let's check a couple of examples of native apps. Examples are those apps that you downloaded from the App Store on your mobile device like Shazam, who has access to the phone microphone, or WhatsApp, has access to the phone number and contact on your device. Instagram has access to the camera and so on. Some of these apps have web versions of the apps as well. So let's get familiar with what is the difference between native and web versions of those apps. The definition of web apps sounds like this. Web apps are accessed through a mobile browser and do not need to be downloaded or installed on a device. They are built using web technologies and can work on any platform or operating system. Web apps can offer a wide range of functionalities, from simple tasks such as displaying information, to more complex tasks such as online shopping, social media, and email services. Getting to know the pros and cons of a web app will help us better understand the difference between a web app and a native app. Let's start with the pros. The main pros are lower development costs and easier deployment. Developing a web app requires web technologies such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This can result in lower development costs compared to native or hybrid apps. The web apps are easier to update and maintain the app. Web apps can be accessed from any device with an internet connection and a web browser and do not require installation, which makes them easier to use and more accessible. You can pause the video and read those on your own more attentively. And we are moving to the cons of web apps. 
The main one is that web apps are limited in their access to device features such as cameras, GPS, and sensors, which means that they may not be able to offer the same level of interactivity and functionality as native or hybrid apps. Also, they are dependent on network connectivity and have higher security risks, and can be slower and less responsive compared to native or hybrid apps. So, what examples of web apps do we know? The list is very similar to the list of native apps. The difference is that the web version of these apps has much less functionality compared to native apps. They depend on an internet connection and are mostly useless offline. Also, the speed of operation is much lower than native apps, because even if cache files are used, most of the information is extracted from web servers unlike native apps, which store a large amount of information on the mobile device. So the difference between native and web apps is clear. Each has its pros and cons depending on the goals set for the developers. Now it's time to move on to the controversial and incomprehensible part of our video, the hybrid apps. So what is a hybrid app? The definition sounds like this. Hybrid apps are a combination of native and web apps. They are built using web technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but are packaged as native apps and can be downloaded and installed on a device. Hybrid apps can access device features such as cameras, contacts, and GPS. However, unlike native apps, hybrid apps are not built specifically for a particular platform or device, and are designed to be cross-platform, meaning they can run on multiple platforms, such as iOS, Android and Windows using a single code base. Based on this definition, we can see that the difference between hybrid apps and web apps is relative, just like the difference between hybrid apps and native apps. And it will be clear based on examples of hybrid apps. But first, let's look at their pros and cons. Mostly, pros are the same as web apps. The main pros compared to the web apps are that the hybrid apps can access the mobile device hardware and can be used in offline mode. And if we check the cons, the hybrid apps have combinations of the cons of web apps and native apps. You can pause the video and read them again if you want. It's time to move on to the final video chat, examples of hybrid apps. Examples are the same, it is because web apps and hybrid apps have no clear boundaries. And you can start a holy war on each app. We will add some arguments why these apps can be counted as hybrid apps. The best examples are Twitter, Gmail, Instagram, and Uber. These apps are developed based on web technologies, but they are available in multiple app stores and can access to the device hardware. So those have the pros and cons of both the web apps and the native apps. And that's all on our site. We hope we helped to find the answer to the questions. What are the different types of mobile apps? What's the difference between native versus web versus hybrid apps?